All right, me and my brother just got done stuffing our faces at Mission Barbecue, probably the most patriotic American restaurant I've ever been to. America is very famous for its barbecue and grill, and also known for the many sauces from all the regions of the country. So on today's episode of Cult America, I'm getting a little patriotic. All right, first up we had whole chicken and basically like some chopped up chicken seasoned with pepper. I've never had it before and I'm not going to put sauce on it so that I can see how it really tastes. Also, I have side of uh, mac and cheese. What is this, cornbread? Yeah, and coleslaw. So, here we go. It's good. It's very tender and highly seasoned. This is what American kids grow up loving. Really creamy, really rich. That's incredible. So now we have like a dual meat platter served with fried beans. It looks awesome. I'm going to experiment a little bit with the sauce in American barbecue. Sauce is what really counts and this restaurant actually gives you six choices of regional sauces from around the the country, so I'm gonna start with the Texas Twang. The sauce is like actually really the magical part about that. And uh, yeah, it's twangy, it's kind of tart, delicious. Okay, now we have more um, pulled chicken, and I'll try Memphis Bell. So we'll see how they do it in Tennessee. I like that a lot. It's like spicy and sour at the same time. So tell me what, what's up with those sauces? What makes it good? With the brisket, which is a fatty cut of meat, and it takes a long time to cook, it gets really dry. So when you drench it in sauce, it just sucks up like a sponge. Awesome. The thing I notice about the American barbecue is that one, it's very tender. <laughs> The meat basically just like falls apart as you eat it. It doesn't take much effort to chew. It's not very salty, but it's very tart. And uh, that's incredible. All right, and then the slowly cooked beans baked with brisket. I've never had this before, actually. I've had beans plenty of times, but. <laughs> oh my god, that's better than the meat. That is crazy delicious. And again, it's tart. It's totally tart. The dish is called half a bird, and I'm thinking that this totally needs sauce. I'll try something else. Tupelo honey heat. Sounds like that's going to be sweet and spicy again. And that's a huge, huge piece of chicken. On the inside it's a little bit pink and they told us that it is cooked. It's pink because it's smoked. Wow. I don't even know how to describe that, honestly. That's just <laughs> incredibly good. Probably not very healthy. So right here, this is the breast portion. Normally the driest portion, so that's always the best way to try it. Okay, that's next level. The skin, delicate and smooth, but you really get a, just an overwhelming burst of flavor right on the palate the moment you take a bite. I honestly didn't expect that. I really didn't. All right, so my knees here has given me some ribs to try. Should I put sauce on it? Yeah, which sauce? Um, um, the Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain, oh, awesome. All right, let me try that. These ribs are falling apart, Zoe. It's so good. More, please. There's one over there. No, I finished it. No, I have more of it. <gasps> you have none left. 